Alright guys, what is up? Phil Video Gaming here coming at you with a tutorial on my mob spawner, which you saw in my home tutorial video. So I, I think we should just get started right off the bat. What you want to do is you find either a what I found here is a zombie or a skeleton spawner. You can find a skeleton spawner. And you want to dig out What the oh yeah, I didn't take out that chest. You just want to dig out Ah, my goodness, so much goods. Alright, be careful. Oh yeah, when you're creative, because I'm usually going to be in creative when I did this. Actually, I wasn't creative when I did this for my zombie spawner. Or skeleton spawner. I did this for my blaze. Anyway. Like, what you want to be careful when you're doing this is to not take out the spawner, because obviously that would be absolutely horrible. This tutorial, I am pretty sure, works on... Uh, I'm almost 100% sure. Works on the PC version. I have already, you guys already know for sure that it works on the, um, Xbox 360 version. But anyway, yeah, let's get started. What you want to do, you want to dig out two blocks underneath the spawner like I have done. Um, I'll try to go slow because I know that some people aren't too quick with this. Next, you want to cover it up so it'll be, have like, whoops, wrong way. One space only above the spawner, so right here, for the ceiling. And you probably want to light this up or at least cover it up so the spiders don't spawn because spiders will spawn up there. That's how my mob spawner sometimes doesn't work in case I've had like a backup spawner. It's pretty bad, but... Oh, pumpkins. We all love pumpkins. Beautiful. Oh, luscious lilies. Luscious lilies for the lusciously lilies, right? Okay. <laughs> so now what you want to do next is... Hmm, what did I do? Oh yeah, you need to get buckets of, um, sweet, now you need some buckets of water, and you're going to need a lot of buckets of water and science, so my, uh, suggestion to you guys is, when you make this first, always have an infinite water source, yes, I have diamond armor because I'm the boss, oh. I love you, no, I don't. okay, now you need to put all, all water sources on the far end, Keep digging down until they don't. The water doesn't flow anymore. So this way, ah, I do not want to take out this water. So this way, um, you can kind of work with it easier in my mind. All right, so right there. Now you're actually going to end up being covering. You're going to end up covering all most of this back up again. But like, it's just easier for the video to show you guys. So please just bear with me at the moment. So now what you got? Actually, no. Um, hold on. So what you got here? So what you guys got here is um, the water, the spawner right there. The water flowing down here. Simple enough, right? So what you got to do is clear out this part here and put it. I think you have to clear it too. If I remember correctly, because then you gotta put something underneath. Yeah. Um, you're gonna need science too, if I haven't mentioned that already. I think I have. Um, where's the center? Right here. Uh, I wanna say that it goes here. Actually, no, that's right. Crap, sorry guys. Uh, I'm just building most of this off memory. You wanna have a sign here. And you have a bucket of water there, and a bucket of water here. Yep, and then you have a bucket of water there. And you keep mining this way if you're doing it on survival, which I mean, most of you, it's always possible to do, until you reach this kind of spot. And the point, the one thing that you must always do when you're making this, is to always keep those corners back. Crap. No water, I love you, but why? You gotta always keep that, um, these corners right here. Oh, crap, that was not good. Uh, <laughs> you need to have those corners, uh, eh. Sweet. Always have those corners blocked off because, well, for example, I'll pretend to be a mob right here. Oh my god, so frustrating. Yeah, not get out. I can't get out of this freaking water. Alright, so I spawned here. Bleh. I'm a zombie. I come down here and I just flow down here. 
but if I try to get out, I won't be able to because the the current here is pushing me down. So what ends up happening is the mobs flow over here. Hold on, I like this up for you guys. Sorry about that. Um. Oh, I got into my pumpkin. That's not good. I'll just use Victor's pumpkin. Sweet. So then I'm. If I'm correct, you have a sign here. Oops, sign. Uh, sign there. Um. Yeah, hold on, I guess, because it's auto saving. But anyway, yeah, um. So far, I hope you guys are getting it done. Uh, this is gonna be a helpful tutorial because I'm trying to go at a medium pace. Because I hate the, on some of the videos that I've tried to use where so the guys just go wicked fast and that you can't uh, understand a word they're saying, so. Um, you just keep mining up. Ah, uh, holy. We have to fix this here. Oh no. Um, so you gotta keep going up here. And now I'm just doing this for random reasons, but I'll fix it when the time comes. You have to go up 22 blocks, and I'll show you that later. Uh, now after this you're gonna need a sign and a water source. Oh, that's right, and I need sign there. I remember this happened before. Um, what happened here? God diggity, no! Sorry guys, like I said, I'm building the most of this off memory. <sighs> Frustrating. Uh, da -da -da -da, the water goes here, the water goes there. So now it shouldn't move. That's right. Okay. So we have this here, and I think I can put that there. Good. Now this is going to become a natural elevator. So the water is kind of flowing upwards for some reason. Well, that's supposed to happen. The mobs will always like swim up and bob like this, but when they swim up, they'll go up to the next section. And you got to keep going up until you hit the 22 block mark, and then I'll tell you what to do. Then you got to go. So one, two. Three, four. Oh no, I need that. Uh, crap! I gotta recount. I hate one of these counts. <coughs> so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God diggity! <laughs> why do I always drop my bucket? But why? You're in love. That's why. Okay, so we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, nine. Oh my goodness. You know what? I ain't even mad. Look at I love you. And I gotta count up again. Oh my goodness. So you got um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Whoa! Whoops, that wasn't right. Hold on, guys. Uh, sixteen. 17, whoops, 18, 19, no, 19, 19, 19, I hate when I have to re keep recounting, it sucks, 19, 20, 21, 22, and just for the purposes of how um, far away this is actually going to end up being from the spawner, because water only flows eight blocks, I actually thought it only flowed seven. We're gonna go up, uh, I think, three more, just in case. Just in case. Um, just for, uh, preparation reasons, because you guys know how prepared I was in my Ender Dragon video. Kick them at. Okay, so what you want to do there, I think you just cut this down and the water will start flowing. Yep. Actually, in my, um, when I actually ended up building this, I didn't build it down. I built a. Uh, I was in above the water, so 
And when I did this on survival, it was such a pain in the butt. It took me quite a few tries, and I actually died um, once or twice while in the process. So I ended up having to restart quite a bit. No, at this point in time, I have to... <laughs> I look crazy. I have to go back and... Right here. I have to dig back. Up, uh, I think it's two. And you just dig straight up. Okay, you just dig straight up, and look where we are. So we're right here, and now what we're probably going to end up doing is, oh, we're going to put a sign here, and water there, and we'll the water, so then when the mobs drop, they'll go, oh no, but why? <laughs> now, I, I know I screwed up already, because this is, that does not seem like the actual length, but we'll see how this works. So let's take off the porch. Sorry guys, I'm just being very careful here because, of course, if I destroy the mob spawn, that'll be the end of the video. So we got a zombie. We'll follow him. Oh crap, no. So he comes down here, as you guys can already see. And now the point of this, is the spawner is for it to be a one-hit kill, like you, you punch him once and then he'll die. So we'll see how this is going to work. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I'm just helping him get up because he's taking a long time. <laughs> Move. So then he goes this way. Slows down, good. He's working well so far. And now... He could be either one or two shot kills. Oh, why? That didn't make any sense, so... Looks like we'll try it again! Oh, I gotta... Dang it! Yes, I know I must fix it, but who cares? Light this guy up. And we gotta go cover this thing up. We get to the top and we gotta keep digging up because as you already saw Oh my goodness. Alright, hopefully we can get past this because that's being annoying. Go down, please. Go down, please, thank you. Oops, that wasn't right. That was a mistake! So we keep just keep uh doing this stuff. Now we'll go up another five blocks just in case because oh no. And I'm not even counting anymore. <laughs> oh no! I knew you need the bucket anyway, you know me? Okay, now we're here, we're just gonna go over. As all of my great viewers know. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. And I think we just dig down right here. Yep. And this should be, uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna say it should be because that's what I said the first time. And boom. Boom. That. Get rid of it. Oh my goodness. Why do I keep messing up? See, this is actually real recording. I don't have to edit everything out. <laughs> so you guys have seen my fails. There we go. That's better. Okay, sweet. We'll go see how this bad boy is going to work out. Let's take off this one, and this one, and this one, and and, and three, two, one, bam, we got two zombies. 
We'll stalk these guys up there and see what they're going to be doing. So, will be the life, a day in the life of a zombie. Hey, I got my water bucket back. Oh, up the waterfall. Oh, up the natural waterfall. Come on. Buddy boy, oh my god. Yes, go up the waterfall. And this should be working. I'm pushing. There he's gonna end up coming down here. Fall to his almost complete death. Alright, um. I think I'm gonna end up blocking this off because I just the creeper. I'm not excited about that. I don't need him blowing up the spawner just yet. We're gonna light this guy up here. Now, it does say, like, the, the rules of a spawner. It says that you can, uh, you only have to be 15 blocks away for them to spawn, so I'm just gonna try to do this for time's sake and save you guys some time out of your busy day. I mean, <laughs> Like you guys have lives. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh my god! <gasps> what the heck was that? Okay, so he died here, so we'll put this here. With the landing platform here. We're just gonna do some trial and errors. I mean, all you have to do right now, if you mess up with the 22 blocks thing, because I didn't bother counting, is just do trial and error here, and hope for the best sort of thing. Now, if it is a skeleton spawner, as you saw on mine, I had slabs. I had a block here, and then I was stepping on like uh, slabs so they couldn't shoot me. That case, uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, you can just kill skeletons. I didn't get shot by them. Right, hell, come on, hurry up! Nope, wrong way. Wrong button. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna die. Why would they? Oh, there's one. Come on, buddy. I need to test you. I'm pretty sure that would actually end up killing you. Okay, so are you here? Oh my goodness, I gotta build up one. Stupid. Ah, no, I need that. Uh, what the? Okay, so we're here. That doesn't work either. Do zombies have more health than skeletons? I think they might. They might. This is strange. Alright, um. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So, like, your floor would be right here. And you'd just be like, Yo, bro! And you'd just take two hits. So, whoops. Hello, sir. How you doing? Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm very sorry for it to be time consuming because who edits these days, right? And I hope you remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. And I will see you in maybe another tutorial and the next episode of I Have No Idea. Adios!